Our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, who was in the Tagero Hempinati, it's so to know to very Mot, not in Bicoy Volentine and Novi, through the intercession of the Theodocus Saint Mary, oh Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Han and Shun and Shun, Mahan is thine, is thy Varshi, Angelus, Neman, Gilus, is so well. They sent before the throne of Naban to Krator, proclaiming and saying, Jeko web, go 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 web, Through the intercession of the whole choir of the angels, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins, Nini, O Tin, Abostolos, Ave, O Shchani, Esnos, Chempi, Evangeli, Istis, Chempi, Evangeli, Yor, and Teisos, Becherestos. Their voices went forth unto all the earths, and their words have reached the ends of the world. He ten ni if she ten ashe sinu ten abusto lo seb shoy sari eh mod nan beko e volen ten novi unfading crown the Lord has placed upon the whole choir of the martyrs of tago of nahmo je of futharo of ershani me af kan tev met oro through the prayer of the whole choir of the martyrs o Lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins ni es o eb and tak eb es mo ero eb sajem me bo and te te kemet oro your kingdom oh my God is an eternal kingdom and your lordship is unto all ages he ten ni eb shen te koros tifin ten istav ro foros ni mitmi ni mitve ke o eb shoy sari eh mod nan beko eb volen ten novi Hail to Elijah, the prophet of the temperance, and Elijah has a like disciple being asked in Refe, Oshantikor, and take him, Margos, Babusto, Pesha, Pelefer, him, he insults my. You are the mother of God, O Virgin Mary, ask him on our behalf to have mercy on our race, finished in Patricia, she's been your talk as a hero, sweet of it, when you have so ever, O any, and pen, was our father, the confessor, our body, as Koros, descended the face again, the heretic. Nem ni o ti ti ro eta vrana fei me pshesir po ezmo ez o ab shubine na o refroiz through their prayers o Lord grant through their prayers o Lord grant us the forgiveness of our sin and give us peace nek na o ba no ti hanat shvi ema o se o se ma sho en se nek me chen hit ne ti le ti lo ema no o se ipen tot ke ti ro pega jo en te vi om se ke na har en nakaval. Ever my Lord, and now in the top six, I thought I have all them back and so bad choice. The sins which I have committed, do not remember my Lord, and do not count my iniquities. Repetit lo ni saksut pefti poroni aksuti emos besoni so we don't bad choice or maybe. And I to the sinner teach me, O my Lord, to offer repentance. Because I'm of more and I'm of fear, no fear of losing. If I stop and do something, I'm not safe. Restore us, O God, to your salvation, and deal with us according to your mercy. Jane took O Allah, so so O Hennaid, Maratahu, and Kolem, and Jana, come at Shinahit. Nike, Rimpu, maybe, O Benny Pecker, is those who should be hinted, made you go to full, it go and most. I bore the tear in the moon and in the care in the sun and in the care in the gun and no vein on a wall. Emmanuel, but not you can tell me to you know how to go and tell me you had them, but never mind the web. Then I was the most of the rest of us and big cute and our souls named Beb Nev Mathoab Jaki, Axoti, Monsoti, Samin. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation. And Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and the kingdom of the glory forever and ever.
Yes, they are, yeah. They will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil. Forever and ever, amen. Amen. <laughs> Nemni o tiron te benon chemerin in benen jebi ban to krator pshois benoti. Choice of no to be one to gratore viot and ben choice of all ben not your ben so tiris os pachestos. We thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto yourself, spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Therefore we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our lives in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people and from this church and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable to provide for us for it is you who has given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. <laughs> Are you 
tenne severes veia Ve 
برسف که استازیده شیرینی پاسی کتاب نماتی Again, let us ask God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the sick among your people. Pray for our fathers and brethren who are sick with any sickness, whether in this place or in any place, that Christ our God may grant us with them health, healing, and forgive us our words. Lord, have mercy. You have visited them with mercy and compassion. Heal them, take away from them and from us every sickness and every malady. The spirit of sicknesses chase away those who have long laid in maladies, raise up in comfort. Those who are afflicted by unclean spirits, set them all free. Those who are in prisons or dungeons, those who are held in captivity or bitter bondage. O Lord, set them all free and have mercy upon them. For you are he who loosens the bound and lifts up the fall, and the hope of those who have no hope, and the help of those who have no helper, the comfort of the faint-hearted, the harbor of those in the storm, all the souls that are distressed or bound. Grant them mercy, O Lord, grant them rest, grant them refreshment, grant them grace, grant them help, grant them salvation, grant them the forgiveness of their sins and their iniquities. As for us too, the sicknesses of our souls heal, and also those of our bodies cure you, the true physician of our souls and bodies, the bishop of all flesh, visit us with your salvation. Born have mercy. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, remember, O Lord, the sacrifices, the offerings, and the thanksgivings of those who have offered them to the honor and glory of your whole. Holy name. Pray for those who provide the sacrifices, offerings, first fruit, oil, incense, coverings, reading books, and altar vessels that Christ our God may reward them in the heavenly Jerusalem and forgive us our words. upon your holy rational altar in heaven as a sweet savor of incense before your greatness through the service of your holy angels and archangels as you have received the gifts of the righteous sable the sacrifice of our father abraham and the two mites of the widow so also receive the thank offerings of your servants those in abundance or those in scarcity hidden or manifest those who desire to offer to you but have none and those who have offered to you these gifts this very day give them the incorruptible instead of the corruptible the heavenly instead of the earthly the eternal set of the temporal, their houses and their stores, fill them with every good thing. Surround them, O Lord, by the power of your holy angels and archangels, as they have remembered your holy name on earth. Remember them also in your kingdom, and in this age to leave them not be. Born have my praise with the angels saying glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill towards men. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you, we confess you, we give, glorify you, give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, King of heaven, God the Father, Pantocrator, O Lord, the one and only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the Lord, have mercy on us. O you who takes away the sin of the Lord, receive our prayers unto you, who sets our right hand of his Father, have mercy on us. You only are holy, you only are the most high. My Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, glory be to God, the Father, Amen. Every day I will bless you and praise your holy name forever unto the age of all ages, Amen. From the night season, my soul awakes early unto you, O oh my God, for your precepts are a light upon the earth. I was meditating on your ways, for you have become a helper unto me. In the morning you shall hear my voice, early I will stand before you, and you shall see him. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, who is crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto the age of all ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. 
O Lord, for the sake of your people, heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brethren are fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls. O you, O Lord, have mercy on us. O you, O thou sin, Lord, help us and receive our supplication. For you the glory, the many and triple holiness, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. And he is not temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, commands the kingdom of God and the glory. Can be Christos, he saws Ben, choice Amin, a little air, share in it, and he or Ote, so Absmenot, and Barton Saint, even Timas, not Smarven be Christos. Share it yet as me, Sinan, and Bion, and type me be Christos, but not your part Senus, as O. Ti parthenos Maria, ti theon to konseto ab ti brosat seteno te genus te ti metromi. Sherene o ti parthenos ti o. Arisal bizen gen o somoai gen o es mi en salbe gos gen o e ho e ten en sha je o ansani en se os i ho se tsapanda According to what David said in the Psalms, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Then he completed the saying of David, the spirit bearer, who likewise said, out of the mouth of his To the Lord, O sons of God, bring to the Lord glory and honor. Rejoice in our God with doxologies and blessings. Praise to you, O God, in Zion and Jerusalem. They say, Hosanna in the highest, this is the King of Israel. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. We praise him and glorify him and exalt him above all as a good one and lover of mankind. Have mercy on all. Shobin so erisom segon genimet shosi tareken hito otin shoisen neftiren tite oto koset oye parenten sen se ionive. Serene oti parse nosti oro e mi e en ali sini cerep shosho te ben geno sare egfona emano i. We ask you to remember. We exalt you, the mother of the true light, to glorify you, O Saint the Theotokos, for you have brought forth unto us the Savior of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to our Master, our King, Christ, the pride of the apostles, the crown of the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the firmness of the churches, the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity in one Godhead. Worship Him, who glorify Him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord bless. Amen. Truly we believe in one God, God the Father, Pantocrator, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, one essence of the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary, and became man, and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead, According to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory, judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. He has to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And in one holy Catholic apostolic church, we confess in baptism for remission of sins. Then go Anastasis, Mercy upon us, settle your mercy upon us, have compassion upon us. Amen. with your salvation and forgive us our sins. Amen. So
Ban Kiriela Oh, yeah. 
We worship the good Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Spirit of Comfort, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. Hail to you, O Virgin, the true Queen indeed. Hail to the pride of our race who has born to us, Emmanuel. Ascend upon a high mountain, O you who announces Zion. Raise your voice with strength and preach to Jerusalem. Say to the cities of Judah, there, here is your king coming, carrying his wage and handiwork before his presence. Ascend upon a high mountain, O who announces Zion. Raise your voice with strength and preach to Jerusalem. Say to the cities of Jer Judah, here is your king coming, carrying his wage and handiwork before his presence, like a shepherd who shepherds his flock and with his hands gathers the lambs. Arise and decorate your gates, for the Son of God is coming. With purity and peace, he will save you. Here are all your children coming to him, rejoicing while crying out, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and as soon as you have entered it, you will find a cold tide on which no one has sat. Loose it and bring it. And if anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and immediately he will send it here. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of by Zechariah the prophet, saying, Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem, behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and riding on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. How great is this wonder, he who sits on the cherubim rode on a colt according to the economy. He sat on the earth and never left the heavens. He sits in the bosom of his father and was present in Jerusalem. The sons of the Hebrews spread their garments in his way. The cherubim were covering their faces with their wings. They were worthily glorifying with unceasing lips, saying, Blessed is the glory of the Lord in Samlin the mount of his holiness. They were praising and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is the Lord Jesus Christ, who came to save us. Glory be to him forever. Amen. Hosanna cheni et et chosi fai be evo oro em besara il efez maro tenjefi et neio kenavranem et choi sente migo then, as he was now drawing near the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David, Hosanna in the highest, this is the King of Israel. Hosanna in the highest, this is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. The next day when the great multitude that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna kenni etet shosi fai be'ev orom besara il efez marot enjefi et neio 
Pena fora ne mechoi senteni go. And a very great multitude spread their garments on the road. Others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then the multitudes that went before him and those who followed him cried out, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. So now we're going to read. These are excerpts from the prophecies. Okay, so they should sound familiar. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and sitting on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. Then the multitudes went up before and cried out, saying, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, this is the king of Israel. Hosanna cheni etet shosi fai beb oro em besrai efes marot en jefi es neio kena fora ne meb choi sente nigo. There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Oh, what a great wonder, he who sits on the cherubim and whom the seraphim praise and cover their faces for his divinity, rode a colt as planned for salvation. They bless you in the heavens and they glorify you on the earth. And they shout, saying, Hosanna to the son of David, Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. To him is the glory forever. Amen. Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Get up, Nev, my tea. O Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to us, Send the honored disciples and holy apostles. Many prophets and righteous persons have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be made worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel. Through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the Holy Ghost. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we lift up unto you, O Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, O Lord, repose. Those who are secure, them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the healing of us all, the hope of us all, and the resurrection of us all. From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet, may his blessing be with us all, amen. Who makes his angels separate, spirits. spirits his ministers, a flame of fire, I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing praises to you. I will worship you, worship toward your temple. Whole heart before the gods, I will sing praises to you. I will worship toward your holy temple. A reading from the gospel according to our teacher, St. John, may his ev evangelist, may his blessing be with us, amen. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found a Nathanael and sa said to him, We have found him of Moses and the law, and all, also the prophets wrote Jesus of Nazareth, the son of jo Joseph. And Nathanael said to him, Can 
anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and, and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom is not deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? You, Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are Nathanael said, Nathanael. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Na Nathanael, Nathanael. Okay. answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Je Je Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe you will see greater things than this? And he said to him, Mostly, surely I say to you, uh, hereafter you shall see he heaven open and the angels of God ascending and, and seizing upon the Son of Man. A glory be to God forever. Amen. Bifton zon in asomato set fai habi harmantef nog. Oh, emo, 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 of our teacher, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, Saint Luke the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord. O Lord. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, Saint Luke the Evangelist. May his blessing be upon us all. Amen. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country to haste to the city of Judah and entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, that the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this grant granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who, who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were, told, which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my soul has rejoiced in, the, in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowly state of his manservant, maidservant. For behold, henceforth a generation will call, call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the, mag in the imagination of their hearts. And he puts down the mighty from their thrones and ex exalt exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant, his, he has helped his servant Israel in the remembrance of his mercy. And he spoke to our father, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her house. Glory to God forever. Amen. We exalt you worthily with Elizabeth, your cousin, saying, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Hosanna in the 
highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the host. I just want to take a minute to explain so that we are conscious of why we're positioning ourselves the way we do. For the procession of, for any procession, the procession is a way of getting the whole community to celebrate. So ordinarily, these processions would be done outside, through the streets, through the villages. They would walk around and gather all the family and the loved ones and the friends to celebrate. If it's a wedding, if it's a birthday, if it's a funeral, uh, then they mourn, they don't celebrate. But it's a, a way of gathering the whole community to participate in the experience that we are celebrating, or if it were a funeral mourning. So in our cases, with the Palm Sunday procession and the Feast of the Cross processions, what we do is we're walking around the church at the different stations, recruiting and inviting the saints, and you'll see us walk at the back doors and on the side doors, the northern doors and the, side do and the, and the doors, to invite all those who are coming in through the doors to celebrate with us the Lord's glorious entry into Jerusalem. So it should be a very interactive, a little bit messy, uh, festive activity that we all commune together to celebrate Christ. This is why we're all lined up outside. The celebration is always, everybody's in the, in the front and they are announcing the, the celebration. So all the deacons are ahead of the icon and with the cross and they are announcing the Lord's entry so that everyone in the community and we stop at every saint, at the saint icons as you're gonna see and at the doors recruiting and uh, inviting everyone to join in the celebration. In the very, very ancient tradition, or in the very older tradition, the whole church would proceed in, this, in the procession, but there's no way enough space, and also the pandemic, and also uh, for uh, uh, space purposes, okay? But keep this in mind, this imagery in mind, so that you understand, and that we can all participate as fully as we can. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless, O oh Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, Saint Luke the Evangelist. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 oh. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. May his holy blessings be with us all, amen. Now in the sixth month, the, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the city of Galilee named Nazareth, to the virgin Bethroded, uh, Bethroded, Bethroded and to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, O full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and concerned what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall be called his and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the th throne of his father David. And he will re region over the ho house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be? since I do not know a man. And, and the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will shadow over you, overshadow you. Therefore also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her uh, for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the ma maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
Evo orom besra il jefes marot in jefi es neio khen frane me pchoy centenigo. Comes in the name of the Lord, bless the Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of the word. Bless the Lord, all his host, your ministries of his, who do his pleasure. A reading from the gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist. May his blessings be with us. Amen. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which is a man found in hide. And the joy over it, he goes and sells all that he, ha he has and buys the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet and was cast into the sea and gather some of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and they sat and gathered into good vessels, but they threw the bad away. So it will be at the end of the age, the angels will come forth, separate the wicked from among the just and they cast them and cast them into the furnace of fire. Then will be wailing and gnashing of teeth Jesus said to them, have you understood all these things? They said to him, yes, Lord. Then he said to them, therefore, every scribe instructed concerning the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out his treasure, things new, new and old. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Michael, the head of the heavenly is the first among the angelic ranks serving before the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. He who comes in the name of the Lord, bless the Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, Saint Luke the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. After these things, the Lord appointed seventy also, seventy others also, and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. Then he said to them, The harvest tr truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Carry neither money bag, knapsack, nor sandals, and greet no one along the road. But whatever house you enter first, say, Peace to this house. And if the Son of Peace is there, your peace will rest on it. If not, it will return to you and remain in the same house. Eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is not worthy of his wages. Do not go from this house to a to house. Whatever city you enter and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you and heal the sick and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near you. But whatever city you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, the very dust of your city which clings to us, we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near you. But I say to you that it will be more tor t tolerable in that day for, for Sodom than in that city. And glory be to God forever. Amen. Marcos B. Apostolos, Omoabi, Evangelestit, Bimetere, Pani, Emtap, Ente bimono ge mi senoti, sanna niete 
ଚୋଷି ପାଇବେ Lord bless the Lord the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher St. Matthew the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew of the Evangelist. May his, may his blessings be with us. Amen. And when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. Now, now the name of the twelve apostles the, the f- are these. First Simeon, who was called Peter and Andrew, his brother, brother James, the son of Zebedee, and, his br- and, his, and John, his brother, Philip, Bartholomew, Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collectors, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Labius, who are surname of the Thaddeus, Simeon, and Simeon, the Canaanite, and Judas, the Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These are the twelve Jesus set out and commanded them, do not go into the way of the Gentiles and do not enter the city of Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Glory be to God forever. Amen. I, I send to O twelve apostles to preach in the nations, making them Christians, Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, but it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Therefore, settle it in your hearts not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost by your patience possesses your souls. Glory be to God forever. Amen. <laughs> Ara en anomos efti haber of emnini osana keni ete chosi faideb orom desra il jefes maro tinje Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist. May those blessings be with us. Amen. Then Jesus said to him,
From the songs of our teacher, David the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew, the evangelist, may his blessings be with us. Amen. From the song of our teacher, David the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. O God, you are more awesome than your holy place. The God of Israel is he who gives the strength to the power of his people, but the lunch of the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before the God. Yes, let them rejoice ex exceedingly. A reading from the gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew, the evangelist, me, his blessings be with us, amen. Then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of a Man will come into the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will reward each according to his works. Assuredly, I say to you, there are some standing there uh, here who shall not taste death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Glory be to the God, the Father, amen. Perch from your heart's thoughts of vice and deceiving ideas that darken the mind, Hosanna in the highest, this is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord. O Lord. From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. How lovely is your tabernacle, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. A reading from the gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke, the evangelist. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? And he said to them, strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say to you, I do not know you, where are you from? Then you will begin to say, we ate and drank in your presence and you taught in our streets. But he will say to you, I tell you, I do not know you. Where are you from? Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you, see, when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and yourselves thrust out. They will come from the east and the west, from the north and the south, and sit down in the kingdom of God. And indeed, there are last who will be first, and there are first who will be last. Glory be to God forever. Amen. When you come in your second fearful appearance, do not let us fearfully hear. I do not know you. Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord. O From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. A reading from the gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist. May his blessing be with us. Amen. 
Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Glory be to God forever. Amen. John has borne witness in the four Gospels saying, I have baptized my Savior in the waters of the Jordan. Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. He who comes in the name of the Lord, bless the Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord, O Lord. From the Psalms, our teacher, David the prophet and king, may his holy blessings be with us, amen. Open to me the gates of righteousness, I will go through them. I will praise the Lord, this is the gate of the Lord, through which the righteous shall enter. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew the Evangelist, may his holy blessings be with us, amen. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord has need of them, and immediately he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and sitting on a donkey, a colt, the fowl of a donkey. So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. They brought the donkey and the colt, laid their clothes on them, and set him on them. And a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road. Others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then the multitudes who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he had come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? So the multitude said, This is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. Glory be to God forever. Amen. He who sits upon the cherubim on the throne of his glory entered into Jerusalem. What is this great humility? Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord, O Lord. From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise you forever because you have done it. And in the presence of your saints, I will wait on your name for it is good. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke, the evangelist. May his blessings be with us. Amen. For I say to you, among those born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. But he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And when all the people heard him, even the tax collectors justified God having been baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the will of God for themselves, not having been baptized by him. And the Lord said, To what then shall I liken the men of this generation, and what are they like? They are like the children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another, saying, We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We mourned to you, and you did not weep. 
For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a wine-bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by all her children. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Among those born of women, no one is like you. You are great among all the saints. O John the Baptist, Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. <speaking in Hebrew> O Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who such a saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous persons have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be made worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord have mercy. Remember also our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers, which we lift up unto you, O Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, O Lord, repose those who are sick, cure them. For you are the life of us, all the salvation of us, all the healing of us, all the hope of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Sosite me to vovo theo akoso me to agio evangelio. If his marot and jefe theo chen evran choice in tening on kiriya flogisonak to kato loka nagio evangelio tonanos ma. Stand up in the fear of God and let us listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the Evangelist. May his blessings be on us all. Amen. O oh, our Lord, God and Savior, King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. Glory is due to our God unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Glory to you. From the Psalms of our teacher, David, the prophet, and the king, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord daily, the God of Israel. He will give power and strength to his people. Blessed be God. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God, Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is the glory forever and ever. Amen. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now, behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was the chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. 
And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received them joyfully. But when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, He has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. And glory be to God for ever. The half of my good, said Zacchaeus to his Lord, I will give, O Master, to the poor with care. Behold, salvation has come unto today, said the Lord God of powers, for you are also a son of Abraham, Jeff is Marot and Jeff Yod, Nemip Shiri, Nempip Nevma, Eth Oweb, Tiet Tetrias, Echikevol, Teno Oist Emos, Tenti Ones. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Oh, Master, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, love us of God the Father, who has broken all the bonds of our sins through saving life and passion, who breathed into the face of the same disciples and holy apostles, and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now also our Master, you have given grace to the holy apostles, so those who live for a time, a priesthood of your church, to forgive every sin upon the earth, to bind and to loose every one of iniquity, we ask and treat you to deliver mankind for your servants. My brothers, my sisters, and my weak self, those who bow their heads before the glory, dispense to us your mercy, loose every one of our sin. If we have committed any sin against you, knowing we are known, we have finished of heart, whether in word or deed, through vain hardness. You, O Master, knows the weakness of man as a good and lover of mankind. Grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, purify us, absolve us, and all the people of us with the fear of teach us to do your will. For you are God, and unseize the glory, honor, majesty of the good Father, and the Holy Spirit, the life goes on since with you now at all times and today's glory. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for The love of God, the Father, the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, communion and gift of the Holy Spirit be with you. Go in peace. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Then
When the comfort of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, has come, he shall teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I have said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you would rejoice, because I said I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes to pass, that when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world comes and has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, so I do, arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. Several people asked the question about why we pray the Psalms in the morning during a major feast. So just again, always we want to do things with understanding. For the three major feasts of Christmas, Nativity, Theophany, and Resurrection, the liturgy is in the evening, and when the, it's the eve of. So when the liturgy is in the evening, we pray a Baramon liturgy in the morning. When we pray the Baramon liturgy in the morning, we pray all the Psalms from the third hour until the twelfth hour, and then we start to fast. But for Palm Sunday, the liturgy is in the morning, right? And in the evening, we start the, baskha, the, uh, the, the morning service. So since we are praying in the morning, we still as a church have to pray the Psalms. So we're going to pray like the, uh, just the third and sixth hours like a Sunday, like an ordinary uh, annual Sunday. Okay. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Mary sings, be concluded in peace. We worship you, Christ, together with the good Father and the Holy Spirit. For you have come and saved us, and men, your Holy Spirit, O Lord, which you sent forth upon your holy disciples and honored apostles in the third hour. This take not away from us a good one, but we ask you to renew him within us. Create in me a clean heart, O God, renew your right spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. O Lord, who sent down your Holy Spirit upon your holy disciples and honored apostles in the third hour. This take not away from us a good one, but we ask you to renew him within us. We beseech you. 
O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Word renew within us a steadfast and life-giving spirit, a spirit of prophecy and chastity, a spirit of holiness, righteousness, and authority. For you are the light of our souls, O you give light to every person that comes into the world. Have mercy on us. O Mother of God, you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life. We ask you, full of grace, together with the apostles, to pray for the salvation of our souls. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord day by day. He prepares our way for you as God of our salvation. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, and the Spirit of Truth, who is present in all places and fills all in the treasury of good things and in life giver, Graciously come and dwell in us and purify us from all defilement, O good one, and save our souls. <laughs> Just as you were with your disciples, O Savior, and gave them peace, graciously come and be with us. Grant us your peace and save us and deliver our souls. <laughs> Whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary, we are considered standing in heaven. O, o Theotokos, you are the gate of, you are the gate of heaven. Heaven, open, up, open for us the gate of mercy. O Lord, hear us up. Holy God, holy, holy mighty, mighty, holy immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and in the present, to the ages of all ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sick of your people. Heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and the brethren have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls. O you who are without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. O you who are without sin, Lord, help us and receive our supplications. Your word is the glory of the dominion and triple holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. Make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In Christ Jesus our Lord, and thy kingdom, far and glory forever. Hail to you, we ask you, same full of glory, the ever virgin, Mother of Christ, lift up our prayers unto you, beloved Son, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to the Holy Virgin, who has brought forth unto us the true light, Christ our God. Ask the Lord on our behalf that he may have mercy on our souls and forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the Holy Theotokos, the faithful advocate for all mankind, intercede on our behalf before Christ, whom you bore, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race, who bore to us, Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Holy, 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 the gospel according to our teacher, Saint Matthew. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on the mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world, a city that sat on a hill cannot be hid. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and go fire, Father, who is in heaven. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May your sayings be concluded in peace. We worship you, Christ, together, the good Father and the Holy Spirit. For you have come and saved us. Amen. O you on the sick day and in the sick tower was nailed to the cross for the sin which our Father Adam did to commit in paradise. Tear the handwriting of our sins, O Christ, our God, and save us. I cry to God, and the Lord heard me. God, hear my prayer. Do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me and hear me in the evening and morning and midday. I say my words. He hears my voice. And delivers my soul in peace. O Jesus Christ, our God, who was nailed to the cross in the sixth hour and killed sin by the tree and by your death, you made alive the dead men whom you have created with your own hands and had died in sin. Put to death our pains by your healing and life-giving passions and by the nails with which you were nailed. 
Rise, give your minds from the thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and worldly lusts to the remembrance of your heavenly commandments according to your compassion. <laughs> Since we have no favor, nor excuse, nor justification because of our many sins, we through you implore to him who was born of you, O the to coast the virgin, for abundance and acceptable is your intercession with our Savior. O pure mother, do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore, for he is merciful and able to save us because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us, for you are exceedingly humbled. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, save us and deliver us for the sake of your holy name. You are salvation in the midst of all earth, O Christ our God. As you stretch your hands on the holy, holy hands on the cross, therefore all nations cry out, cry out, saying, Glory be to you, O Lord. We worship your incorruptible person, O good one, asking for the forgiveness of our sins, O Christ our God. For of you, you will be pleased to be lifted up onto the cross to deliver those whom you have created from the bondage of the enemy. We cry unto you and give thanks to you, for you have filled all with joy. O oh, Savior, when you come to, help the, come to help the world, Lord, glory be to you. You are she who is full of grace, O Teotokos, the virgin. We praise you, for through the cross of your son, Hades fell down and death was abolished. We were dead, but we are raised and became worthy of eternal life and gained the delight of the first paradise. Therefore, we thankfully glorify the immortal Christ, our God. To the mother of the true light, we glorify you, O Saint the Theotokos, for you have brought forth unto us the Savior of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to you, our Master, our King, Christ, the pride of the apostles, the crown of the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the firmness of the churches, the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity in one Godhead. We worship him, we glorify him. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless us, amen. Truly, we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, for our salvation, came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. End. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sins. <laughs> Nempi och ente pi e o neo a me. Mercy on us, 
us, O Lord. Kiri alay, son. Kiri alay, son. Hear us and have mercy. Kiri alay, son. Kiri alay, son. Lord, have mercy. Kiri alay, son. Kiri alay, son. But you absolve, forgive, and remit our God our transgressions, those who commit willingly, and those who commit unwillingly, those who commit knowingly, and those who commit unknowingly. Then it manifests, O Lord, forgive us the sacred holy name which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. Make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace and edification be to the one holy Catholic and apostolic Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who are brought to you, these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord, have Alleluia, Pai Veni, Eloheta, Echoises,
has been strengthened toward us and the truth of the Lord abides forever. Amen. We thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto yourself, spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion upon us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints. For that which is good on our behalf at all, all times. And make us worthy to partake of the communion of his holy and blessed mysteries. For the remission of our words.
Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of men, kind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our lives in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people, and from this table, and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you who has given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, and upon all the power of the enemy. Servants, the Lord, the ministers of this day, the deacons, the clergy, and all your people, my weak self, be absolved by the mouth of the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, from the mouth of the one Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, from the mouths of the twelve Holy Apostles, from the mouth of Behold our God, the Evangelist, Mark, the Holy Apostle, Martyr, the Patriarchs, and Sevilla, Sarah, Jesus Christ, and Athanasius, Apostolic, St. Peter, Seal, Martyrs, and High Priest, St. John, Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory, from the mouths of the 318 Assembly of Nicaea, the 150 of Constantinople, and the 200 of Ephesus, from the mouths of Honor, Father, St. Holy Spirit, to Odyssey II, his partner, Apostolic Clergy, our Father, the Bishop of Peter, from the mouths of my fathers, of my mouth being the least, for blessed and full of glory. Is your holy name, O Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now at all times and to the ages of all ages. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. 
procession of the Teoto for St. Mary. Oh, Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. It's a never as they unto be our she on Gelos. Nevmaya 
سوام جاک ایک صوتی ام ناینا servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God, a chapter from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Hebrews. His blessings be upon us. Amen. But Christ came as high priest of the good things to come, with the great, greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is, not of his creation, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, he entered the most holy place once and for all having obtained eternal redemption. For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifies for the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. And for this reason, he is the, he is the mediator of the new covenant by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions under the first covenant that those who are called may receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. For where there is a testament, there must also, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is in force after men are dead since it has no power at all while the testator lives. Therefore, not even the first covenant was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people, according to the law, he took the blood of cows and goats with water, scarlet, wool, and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant which God has commanded you. Then likewise he sprinkled with blood, both the tabernacle and all vessels of the ministry. And according to the law, almost all things are purged with blood, and without shedding of blood there is no remission. Therefore, it was necessary that the copies of all the things in the heavens should be purified with these, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ has not entered the holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true but into heaven itself, not to appear in the presence of God for us, not that he should offer himself often, as the high priest enters the most holy place ever, every year with blood of another. He then would have had to suffer often since the foundation of the world. But now, once at, at the end of the, the ages, he has appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself, and it has appointed for men to die once but after this is this the judgment so christ was offered once to bear the sins of many to those who eagerly wait for him he will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation the grace of god the father be with you all amen the catholic epistle from the first epistle of our teacher saint peter may his holy blessings be with us all amen Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself also with the same mind. For he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his life in the flesh for the lust of men, but for the will of God. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in lusciousness, lust, drunkenness, revilities, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. In regard to these, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. They will give an account to him who was ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the gospel was preached also to those who are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things, have fervent love for one another. For love will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. As each one has received a gift, minister it to one another. As good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it with the ability which God supplies. 
that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Do not love the world, nor the things which are in the world. The world shall pass away in all its desires, but he who does the will of God shall abide forever. Amen. After three months, we sailed in an Alexandrian ship whose figurehead was the twin brothers, which had wintered at the island. And landing at Syracuse, we stayed there three days. From there, we circled round and reached Regium. And after one day, the south wind blew, and the next day we came to Pitoli, where we found brethren and were invited to stay with them seven days. And so we went toward Rome, and from there, when the brethren heard about us, they came to meet us as far as a pie forum and three inns. When Paul saw them, he thanked God and took courage. Now when we came to Rome, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard. But Paul was permitted to dwell by himself with the soldier who guarded him. And it came to pass after three days that Paul called the leaders of the Jews together. So when they had come together, he said to them, Men and brethren, though I have done nothing against our people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who when they had examined me wanted to let me go because there was no cause for putting me to death. But when the Jews spoke against it, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar. Not that I had anything of which to accuse my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have called for you to see you and speak with you because for the hope of Israel, I am bound with this chain. And they said to him, we neither received letters from Judea concerning you nor have any of the brethren who came reported or spoken any evil of you. But we desire to hear from you what you think for concerning this sect. We know that it is spoken against everywhere. So when they had appointed him a, a day, many came to him at his lodging, to whom he explained and solemnly testified of the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus from both the law of Moses and the prophets from morning till evening. And some were persuaded by the things which were spoken, and some disbelieved. So when they did not agree among themselves, they departed after Paul had said one word. The Holy Spirit spoke rightly through Isaiah the prophet to our fathers, saying, Go to this people and say, Hearing you will hear and shall not understand, and seeing you will see and not perceive, for the heart of this people has grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their heart and turn, so that I should heal them. Therefore let it be known to you that the salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews, the Jews departed and had a great dispute among themselves. And then Paul dwelt two whole years in his own rented house, and received all who came to him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching all things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no one forbidding them. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, and be mighty, and be confirmed in the holy church of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
The Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous persons have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be made worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers, which we lift up unto you, O Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, O Lord, repose. Those who are sick, cure them, for you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the healing of us all, the hope of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Alleluia, alleluia, Jesus Christos, Epshiri, Mephnoti, Avshe, Echon, Yero, Selim, Eftaleyo, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist. Glory to you. fear of God and let us listen to the Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. May his blessings be with us. Amen. Good choice, our God and Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. Glory is due to our God unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Glory, glory to you, O Lord. From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet and the king, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Blow the trumpet at the new moon in the glorious day. 
of your feast. Rejoice in God, our helper. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and produce the timbrel, the pleasant psaltery with the harp. Alle. comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God and Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, go into the village opposite you. And immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord has need of them. And immediately he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and sitting on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. So, that the, so the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, they brought the donkey and the colt, laid their clothes on them, and set him on them. And a very great multitude spread their garments on the road. Others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then the multitudes who went before who followed cried out, saying, O son to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O son in the highest. And we, when he had come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? So the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. Then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all those who bought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying out in the temple and saying, O son uh, to the son of David, they were indignant and said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read? Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have perfected praise. Then he left them and went out of the city to Bethany, and he lodged there. And glory be to God for ever. Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Stand in the fear of God.
God and let us. Also, a reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Now, when they had come near Jerusalem to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent out two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and as soon as you have entered it, you will find a cold tide on which no one has sat. Loose it and bring it, and if anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it. And immediately he will send it here. So they went their way and found the cold tide by the door outside on the street. And they loosened it, and some of those who stood there said to him, What are you doing, loosening the cold? So they spoke to them just as Jesus had commanded, and they let, and they let them go. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments on it, and he sat on it. And many spread their garments on the road, and others cut down leafy branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then those who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And Jesus went into Jerusalem and into the temple. So when he had looked around at all things, as the hour was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Glory be to God forever. He who sits upon the cherubim today appeared in Jerusalem riding on a cold with great glory surrounded by ranks of the angels. And also a reading from St. Luke Evangelist. May his blessings be with us all. And it came to pass when he came near to Bethphage and Bethany at the mountain called Olivet that he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village opposite you, where as you enter you will find a colt tied, on which no one has ever sat. Loose him and bring him here. And if anyone asks you, Why are you loosing him? Thus you shall say to him, Because the Lord has need of him. So those who were sent departed and found it, just as he had said to them. But as they were loosening the colt, the owner of it said to them, Why are you loosing the colt? And they said, The Lord has need of him. Then they brought him to Jesus, and they threw their own garments on the colt, and they set Jesus on him. And as he went, they spread their clothes on the road. Then as he was now drawing near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered and said to them, I tell you that if these should keep silent, the stones would immediately cry out. Now as he draw near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If you had known, even you, especially in this day, in this your day, the things that make for your peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. 
eyes, for the days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment around you, surround you and close you in on every side, and level you and your children within you to the ground. They will not leave you one stone upon another, because you did not know the time of your visitation. Then he went into the temple and began to drive out those who bought and sold in it, saying to them, It is written, My house is a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And he was teaching daily in the temple. But the chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people sought to destroy him and were unable to do anything. For all the people were very attentive to hear him. Glory be to God forever. On the road they spread garments, and from the trees they cut branches, while proclaiming with hymns, O Son of the Son of David. O Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to us, Sing the honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous persons have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen. And to hear the things which you hear and have not heard. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be made worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, have mercy. All those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we lift up unto you, O Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, O Lord, repose. Those who are sick, cure them for you, are the life of us, all the salvation of us, all the healing of us, all the hope of us, all and the resurrection of us all. Alleluia, <laughs> Avche khone yero selim khale o te o e o alle elo o o ya alle lo ya sta si te meta vo vo te o akosumen to agio fangelio Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, Saint John the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord. Stand up in the fear of God. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. A chapter from the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, Saint John the Evangelist. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. From the Psalms of our teacher David the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Praise becomes you, O God, in Sion, and to you shall vow be performed. Hear my prayer to you, all flesh shall come. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Our Lord, God, Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is the glory forever and ever. Amen. The next day a great multitude that had come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. 
Then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it. As it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things were written about him and that they had been done these things to him. Therefore, the people who were with him when he called Lazarus out of his tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. For this reason, the people also met him because they heard that he had done these signs. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, you see what you are accomplishing, nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. Amen. Glory be to God for ever. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Blessed Feast of the Lord's Entry into Jerusalem, or Palm Sunday. It's been two years since we've been gathered together, right? So it's such a blessing to see that we're all here together, and it's a very big joy. I think a few times tears came to my eyes already today because it's a very different experience from the last 12 months. So may God always keep the gates of your church open for you and for my weak self and for all our beloved in Egypt and in here and everywhere abroad forever, for this, for, for this generation and beyond. Very briefly today, I want us to reflect on the words of St. Luke. As you heard, we read the story of the Palm Sunday, or the Lord's Entry, four times from all four Gospels, because it's a very major event. And there's, it's a very, very rich event. It's symbolic, it's theological, it's spiritual, it's practical, it has so many meanings. But I want us to focus on one in particular, very briefly, and that's how St. Luke describes the event. Let's look at the key words, at least for today, and see if we can catch the key theme here. On the road, oh, that's the road. There it is. Thank you. So we're gonna, we're gonna start from verse 32. Christ says, the, uh, St. Luke says, he's describing how the disciples went to grab the donkey, the colt, right, from someone's house. So those who were sent with their way, went their way and found it, they're talking about the colt, the donkey, and found it just as he had said to them. But as they were loosing the colt, the owners of it said to them, why are you loosing the colt? And they said, the Lord has need of him. Then they brought him to Jesus, and they threw their own clothes on the colt, and they set Jesus on him. And as he went, many spread their clothes on the road. Then as he was now drawing near, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered and said to them, I tell you, that if these should keep silent, the stones would immediately cry out. We see four things being used to celebrate the Lord's entry into Jerusalem. What was the first thing? The colt, right? What was the second thing? The garments. The third thing wasn't mentioned by St. Luke, but we know because it's called Palm Sunday from the other Gospels. In the other gospel accounts, they stripped the trees, they cut the branches off the palm trees, and they laid them on the floor. And then the fourth thing that we hear St. Luke discussing is what? What was offered? Praise. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And of course, the Pharisees saw this, and the Pharisees, out of their jealousy and envy, they said, silence these people. Maybe it's going to cause a revolt. Maybe the Romans will have issue with it. Or maybe... We don't want them to celebrate you. Silence them. You, who do you think you are walking into this city, 
this great city of God, the city of Zion, where the temple of God himself sits, you walk into it like it is your home. You are the king of it. And what does Christ respond and say to them? I tell you that if these, the people who are praising, offering their praise, should keep silent, the stones themselves would immediately cry out. Earth itself would offer praise. It is not going to wait for people. In all four instances, they are offerings. For some, it was clothes that they had on. For some, they didn't have any good clothes to spread on the floor, so they climbed the trees, and they ripped the palm branches, and they took the clothes off the trees, right? The palm branches are the garments on the trees, and they threw them on the floor. For some, it was their voices, their praises, their celebration, their adoration. And for some, it was their donkey, right? Or donkeys. And their garments, right? What are we going to offer? When we accept the Lord Christ, not in the way that we, you know, our, our friends, the Protestants say, do you accept the Lord Jesus? Of course we accept the Lord Jesus. We're called Christian. But when we really accept him as the king of glory into our lives, something is asked of us to be offered. It must cost something. For some people, it costed them their possessions, their belongings. Imagine you have some nice suits on today, and I have some nice tonias on, and we have some nice tonias on today. Imagine as we see someone coming, as we see Christ coming, or not Christ, anybody coming, imagine you looking around and everybody's taking off their nice suit jacket or, or their nice head veil or something or their scarves or their tonias or, and throwing it on the ground outside. They were not, in, not on marble floors like this because they don't want the donkey that Christ is riding on to touch its feet to the ground. They would rather the donkey walk all over and the disciples who are following Christ walk all over their clothes than to walk on the ground. Would I be comfortable taking off my suit jacket? I loved suits when I was in a lawyer, when I used to practice. I used to get some really nice suits. Not that nice, but they were, you know, nice. And, yeah, yeah, I'm having a moment. <laughs> the attire was different. Uh, we had some nice suits. And I would be very careful when I would sit in the courtroom, I would take off my suit jacket, and then I would look. I'm like, how do these people do it and not get their jackets wrinkled? And then their pants, there's a way to like, so I had to copy, and then you have to neatly put your jacket. You have to fold it, we know, right? We take off your suit. You fold it on the seam, then you lay it over. I don't know if we do that, but that's how we used to do it. Um, you know, there's a way to sit with your pants, especially in a courtroom on those benches, so your pants don't get wrinkled. No, these people took everything off. They threw them on the floor. And they said, let your donkey walk over it. We would rather your donkey walk over our clothes than walk on the floor. Do you think these people are going to get their suit jackets back or their garments back? No. It's gone. Totally gone. What did it cost them? Not the suit jacket, believe it or not. Or not the garments. Not even the money. I guess it's because I like the suits. That's why it's really resonating with me. What does it cost them? Think about the people who had to climb the palm trees. You're standing there, and suddenly you see these grown men and children and women maybe, probably not, but maybe women as well, climbing up the pine trees. Have you seen the pine trees? We're not that far south, but we've seen the pine trees. They're very prickly, right? There's different types of pine trees, but you can kind of imagine. They were prickly and sharp and very rough. Imagine having to climb them. How do you climb a pine tree? Well, people who go on vacation in the south, like very, like you know, the Caribbean or something, they've probably seen that there are some people who are very athletic and very able to just jump up a pine tree, and they they crawl it, they climb it with their legs and their, their knees and their ankles and their elbows and their arms. Imagine that sight. You're you're walking in Jerusalem, and suddenly you see all these grown people take off whatever, throw it on the floor, and then climb themselves up a very prickly pine tree, palm tree, excuse me, not a pine tree, palm tree and rip the palm branches and throw it on the ground and other people are jumping to take it and spread it. What did it cost them? Imagine the people who, upon seeing Christ coming, stopped their conversations, stopped their businesses, stopped their prayers, stopped everything and said, look, look, the prophet is coming, the Messiah is coming. Let's go grant, cheer him. Hosanna, 
Save us. Save us, O Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Yelling it out from the top of their lungs, just like we were all doing so beautifully earlier today. What did it cost them? Is it just their voice? This is where it really might get us. What about the owner of the donkey? Some people say this may have been St. Mark's house. St. Mark's donkey. What about the owner of the donkey? And he, the owner of the donkey, he saw the disciples go. As they were loosing the, the colt, the owners of it said to them, Why are you loosing the colt? This is our donkey. What are, you, what are you doing? It's like you're robbing, stealing my car. And they're doing it casually. They're not doing it in the night. They're not doing it in hiding. They're just in front of everybody. And what do they say? The Lord has need of him. Not Jesus of Nazareth has need of him. Not we need him. Not we'll bring him right back. We're going to borrow him for an hour or two. The Lord has need of him. Do you think they were expecting to get the donkey back? I highly doubt that anyone was able to sit on that donkey after Christ himself sat on the donkey. Or anything was able to go on that donkey. The Lord has need of him. And that was the end of the conversation. What did it cost the donkey owners? The donkey. Just the donkey. I think that's the way we view it today. We might be seeing things a little bit superficially because we're afraid to really dig deep or maybe we're just not trained to dig deep and empathize with what is happening here. It didn't cost them just the donkey or their voices or their clothes or you know the scars and the bruises from climbing the palm tree. It cost them their egos. It cost them themselves, especially Let's talk about the suit again. Somebody who's so careful, and you know your suit says a lot about you, the color of the suit, uh, where you get your suit done, uh, whether it's tailored or not tailored and all of that stuff. Somebody who spends so much time and attention taking care of their garments to throw it all on the ground so that a donkey can walk on it. Not even a horse or something you know, honorable looking to make it worth it at least. Not even worth it, but still. But a donkey. That's not just their jacket. That's their pride, their ego that they threw on the floor. And they said it's worth nothing. Why? Because the Lord is riding on his donkey. And the people that climbed the palm trees, when they saw the prickly pine, the, the palms and the prickly bark, as they were climbing, you can imagine they're getting cuts and bruises and scars. They have their ways of doing it. And they're ruining their clothes, and maybe they left their kids on the floor to watch them. Maybe, people, maybe one of them fell off the palm tree, or several of them fell off while they were trying to climb it. And they said what? The Lord has need of the palms. The Lord is coming to Jerusalem. Nothing else matters. Get the palms and bring them onto the road, and throw them so that the donkey of the Lord may walk upon them. And then the people that cried out, Hosanna, save us, save us, save us. And the Pharisees are nudging at them and saying, Can I Richard? Nudging and saying, hey, shush, who are, you, who are you talking to? This isn't your Lord. Remember the first commandment. Remember the second commandment. He only one God, the Lord your God, and only him. And then they have to do what? Push back. Don't, don't push me. Save us, Lord. Save us, save us. Cost them their reputation. Cost them their place in the temple worship. Cost them their neighbors. Cost them everything. It cost them their egos. It cost them their sel themselves. And of course, the donkey owner. You can imagine the person who owned the donkey, if it was St. Mark's family, they relied on that donkey for their whole livelihood to carry the possessions if they're selling, to help them transport, to help them transport themselves. And they're accustomed to it. They park it. They don't park the donkey. They tie the donkey. They tie the donkey there every day in the morning or at night or in the afternoon, and it's part of their daily routine. Go take the donkey. Go to the market. Go take the donkey, travel to this place. I'm going to take the donkey to collect some supplies or to sell this. And that donkey now is no longer part of their routine. It's no longer part of their life, and it's irreplaceable. It's expensive. I mean, apparently, there was only very, very few people who owed, owned donkeys because they were given specific instructions to go to a particular house and to get that donkey. Are we willing to pay the price of being Christian? 
we've been talking for the last few weeks, last couple of weeks, about who God is and how he's revealed to us through the Gospels. And we've been talking about the glory that is owed to God. Christ is the Son of God, God himself in the flesh. The honor and the worship that is owed to God as the Son of God himself. And we talked about the responses of the different people that we read about during the Lent. And now we come and we see Christ riding on a donkey into Jerusalem, the great city of David. And we see everyone jumping at the opportunity to sacrifice everything they have at the feet of his donkey. Are we willing to pay that same price? Are we willing to pay the price of proper worship to Christ, our God? Because if we do, know that it's going to be expensive. Not impossible, but costly. In fact, there's a writer who wrote about this, a very famous writer uh, in the West, another Western writer who's German. His name is Dietrich Bonhoeffer, but it's, it's not important. And he wrote a book. The whole book is titled The Cost of Discipleship. The Cost of Discipleship. Not discipleship as the 12 disciples or apostles, but to be called Christian comes at a cost. Requires sacrifices, demands sacrifices to live it correctly. And above all things that we sacrifice is our egos, our pride, ourselves. Because God does not care for the clothes or that these are very beautiful gestures, you know, like when my daughter, I'm not sure if she's here, my two-year-old daughter, when she gives me a nice palm cross or a card, it's very beautiful. It's a two-year-old card. It's a cross. I mean, it's really, you know, I, we don't, I don't frame them, but I, maybe I'll put them on the, on the refrigerator for like a week or something. It's a very beautiful gesture, but the paper doesn't mean much to me. What mean once, me, means much to me is that my daughter or my child or all our children or, or our friends or our loved ones were able to desire to give so much, even as simple as a paper. Do you see the elementary school kids and their servants? I think it was about 150 people at least spent all day yesterday decorating this church and the St. Mary's church and decorating and preparing the pictures outside and the videos that you saw playing on your way in. They have one for every day of the Holy Week, and they have a picture for every day of Holy Week, and they spent all day laboring to prepare these things and recording these videos and uploading them. Michael, thank you. And everybody who's come in here to enjoy them. Because they do it out of adoration. They do it out of love. These kids know how to do it right. They pour their whole heart into it. Their hands are going to get covered in paint. Their parents are going to yell at them because they got colors on their pants or their shirts. They, you know, maybe got hungry for a little bit. They did feed them, but maybe some of them got hungry earlier. Some of them got hungry later. It was a little bit long, a little bit stuffy. They gave up all their comforts, and they said, this is for the Lord Jesus Christ. We're celebrating him tomorrow. It's worth the cost and so much more. The Christian life is costly. It is simple, but it's costly. It demands a sacrifice from our lives. Not just material sacrifice, not just a physical sacrifice, but most importantly, what God wants to see it is the sacrifice of my ego that competes with him. When the Pharisees said to the people, don't cry out, Hosanna, save us. You have one God and only him you shall serve. Don't you remember the commandments? What they really meant was, we are your religious leaders. You listen to us. You don't honor and respect him. They themselves made the God out of themselves. And they said, you follow us. And the children and all the people who celebrated Christ's coming said, this is the Lord God himself who made heaven and earth. And him only we will serve. And we will throw everything at the feet of his donkey. And we will worship him with all our hearts. This is the essence of the first commandment or of the four commandments. I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. Remember the Sabbath. Do not use the Lord's name in vain. Love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your soul, with all your might. And do as I have commanded you, says the Lord. There's nothing about me in the equation. That's what got me in trouble to begin with. When Adam and Eve were in the garden, they lived happily ever after. What got them in trouble to begin with? Maybe I can be like God. Suddenly, I'm going to raise for myself, make myself a God beside God. And God says, no. 
There is no competition with me, not even close. No one can stand beside me or in front of me because I am the Lord your God and only me you shall worship and serve. Even my beloved creation, even Satan, Lucifer himself, who was my most, among my most beloved creations. I will not hesitate to bring him down to the depth of hell before I allow anyone to bend the knee to him. Because I, Lord, am your God and I am a what? Jealous God. He's not asking for much. It's simple. It's just expensive. He's not asking for much. He's asking for recognition of the truth. This is the temple of the Lord. This is the altar of God. And this is the Lord God, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, whom we worship and whom we bow down and whom we partake of. He asks us to acknowledge this, not just when we come to take communion, but then when we live our lives as Christians. That's all. He's not asking for the money. He's not asking for the clothes. He's not asking for the... These are wonderful gestures that we should offer. But that's not what he demands. He demands what? True and right worship, he says in the prophets. What is it? Love for God and love for your neighbor. Let's remember this as we go through this Holy Week, that the events of Holy Week are not about me. The events of the church calendar are actually not about me. In our culture today, we think, what do I have to give? It's not about what you have to give. It's about what is owed to him. As your God and creator, everything is owed to him. Most of all, you and I. We worship him and we glorify him and we magnify him. And as we see him on the cross these next six days, we will say those words over and over and over again. Nothing about me other than my own repentance because I have dared to put myself up beside the Lord. May the Lord grant to us many days and many years where we come together just like this and many even more beautiful and festive occasions to lay everything, ourselves and all our love and adoration at the feet of his donkey now and at all times for the glory of his name forever. Amen. A prophecy about Jesus Christ was marot in Jeb Yot Nem Shiri Nem Beb Nem Ma is over. Tetere Sedji Kevon Ten Osh Tem Mos Ten So faith arose, come and care thy son, care thy son, Lord have mercy. And almost me. God the Father, upon the Creator, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of oneness with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried and on the third day he rose from the dead according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his father, he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end, he has to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the life giver who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic Apostolic Church, we, we confess, confess on baptism for the sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the age to come. Ah, Of Kiss, I see the Edeni Parsi Ketob Nevmati. So, O 
God, the great, the eternal, who formed men in incorruption and death, which entered into the world through the envy of the devil, you have destroyed by the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace by which the hosts of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic greetings. Lord, have mercy. According to your goodwill, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all malice and the remembrance of evil, bearing death, and make us all worthy, O our Master, to greet one another with a holy kiss, that without casting us into condemnation we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord, who are Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy upon us. Offer, offer, offer an order, stain with trembling, look towards these, let us attend. Through the intercessions of the cross, Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we have them with the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord it is me and right. Meet and right, meet and right, truly indeed it is meet and right to you, the being master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the highest and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You who are seated stand before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. And look towards the east. You are here around whom stand the cherubim, full of eyes, and the seraphim, with their six wings, praising continuously without ceasing. Say, let us attend. And the cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and say, Holy, holy, holy Lord. Oh, oh. 
Lord God, who formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandments by the deceit of the serpent, we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your holy prophets. And in the last days you manifested yourself to us, we who are sitting in darkness and in the shadow of death, through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. Came man and taught us the ways of salvation. He granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself and assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the world and as a ransom on our behalf gave himself up unto death, which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins. He descended into Hades. Through the cross. Amen. I believe. He rose from the dead on the third day. He ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father. He has appointed a day for recompense on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sin. He instituted for us. He instituted for us this great mystery of godliness for being determined to give himself up unto death for the life of the world. He took bread into his holy hands, which are without spot or blemish, blessed and life-giving. Amen. He looked up toward heaven to you, O God, who are his father and master of everyone. And when he had given thanks, he blessed it. He sanctified it. it and gave it to his own sinly disciples and holy apostles saying take eat of it all of you for this is my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of me Likewise also the cup after supper, he mixed it with wine and water, and when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed it, Amen. he sanctified it.
He tasted and gave it to his own sinly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. This do in remembrance of me. This is also true. Every time you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. Amen, amen, amen. amen your death, O oh Lord, we proclaim. We also commemorate his holy passion, his resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory. We offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything concerning everything and in everything. We Worship God and fear and trembling. We into his holy body. I believe. Oh, amen. And this cup also the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe. Oh, given for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Make us all worthy, O our Master, to partake of your holies unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit and may have a shared inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one, only, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. This is what you have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keeper, and all peace, all the Orthodox bishops who are in her foremost. Remember, O Lord, our blessed and honor, Father, our patriarch, Pope Papa, to us the second, and his partner in the apostolic liturgy, our Father, the Bishop of a Peter. Lord, have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with them, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemons, priests, and deacons. Lord, have mercy. And all the spirits, the servants, and all those who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father. 
सर्दा पांडो करा आजो Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox fathers. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell therein, in God's faith, graciously accord, O Lord, to bless the air of the heaven, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Raise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as you deem fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness. For the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the child, or the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, so you give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too, having sufficiency in everything always, may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, those who are brought to you, these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who are brought. Oh, 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 Lord, have So, Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos and Mary. Who truly gave birth to God the Logos and Saint John the Forerunner, Baptist and Martyr, Saint Stephen the Archdeacon and Proto Martyr, the Beholder of God, the Evangelist, Mark, the Holy Apostle and Martyr, the Patriarchs and Severus, our Teacher, Dios, Cross, and Athanasius, the Apostolics, and Peter, the Holy Martyr and High Priest, Saint John, Chrysostom, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilus, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, Theologian, Saint Gregory the Wonder Worker, and Saint Gregory the Armenian. The 318 of someone I see, the 150 of Constantinople, and 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous Father, the Great of Antony, the righteous of Paul, the three saints of Macari, and all their children, the cross bearers, our Father of John, the Hegemon, our righteous Father of Abishua, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir of your saints through his prayers and supplications. Have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called. Hold upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. May their holy blessing be with us. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Lord, repose the Amen. Souls you have taken and repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place. And we too are sojourners in this place. Keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. As it was and shall be. It is from generation.
shak su generation and unto all the ages of the ages lead us throughout the way into your kingdom that as in this also in all things your great and holy name may be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed with jesus christ your beloved son and the holy spirit Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Again, let us give thanks to God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has also made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. The holy body, we worship your holy body. And the precious blood of his Christ the Pantocrator, the Lord our God. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. be with you all. and with your spirit. O oh Lord, our Lord, how wondrous has your, become your name in all the earth, for the greatness of your beauty is exalted above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have prepared praise. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Prepare also our souls for praising you, hymning you, blessing you, serving you, worshiping you, glorifying you, giving thanks to you every day and every hour that we may confess to you and cry out to you, O Holy Father who is in the heavens, and say, Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for heaven and ever. In Christ, Jesus our in the fear of God. Peace be with you all and with your spirit.
Remember, O Lord, our assemblies. Bless them. Save Dominion in the fear of God. Let us attend. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The holy body and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. One is the one is the all Holy Father, one is the all Holy Son, one is the all Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The holy body and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The holy precious body and the true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The body and the blood of Emmanuel, our God, this is true. Amen. Amen, I believe. Amen, 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 I believe, I believe, I believe, and confess to the last breath that this is a life-giving flesh that your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, King of us all, took from our Lady, the Lady of us all. Jesus Christ took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos and Mary. He made it one with his divinity without mingling, without confusion, without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment nor a twinkling of an eye. Given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them. Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy, partaking of the immaculate and heavenly holy mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Donc ça si qui réiso ça si alléluia 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 Alleluia, Alleluia. Isos bechrestos epshiri emefno. Isos echon Yerusalem esmo epno tichen. Es o abtiro. Loya Isos Bechresto Seb Shiri Emem Noti Avshechon Eyerosali Ezmo Erof Eherihi Gentev Metgori Alleluia Isos Bechresto Seb Shiri Emef Noti Avshechon Eyerosalim Ezmo Erof Kata Ebasha Entetev Met Neshti Alle Loya Isos Becher Soseb Shiri Emev Noti Afshe Echon Eyerosali 
is more erofen, o is me in salpen go sale lo ya isos becheresto sep shiri emef noti of she echon e yerosalim is more erofen, o Ezmo erof khen han kem kem nem han khoro saleloya isos bekhrestos epshini em ef noti afshe khon eyero sali ezmo erof khen han kem is <laughs> Alleluia, Isos becherestos epshiri em ef noti afshe echon e Yerusalem. Isos becheres of God entered to Jerusalem. Praise God in all his saints. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, entered into Praise Him in the firmament of, of His power. Alleluia, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, entered into Jerusalem. Praise Him for His mighty of His greatness, Alleluia, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, entered into Jerusalem. With the sound of the trumpet, Alleluia, Alleluia, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, entered into Jerusalem. Praise Him with soul and heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Jesus 
Christ, the Son of God, entered into Jerusalem. Praise Him with them brought and for us. Alleluia, Alleluia. As Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and organs, Alleluia, Alleluia, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, entered into Jerusalem, praise Him with His infunding symbol, Alleluia, Alleluia, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, entered into Jerusalem. Come upon the symbols of joy, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, entered into Jerusalem. Praise Him upon the symbols of joy, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Entered into Jerusalem, let everything that has breath praise the name of the Lord our God. Alleluia. Zoxepet vi ke eo ke ageo epnev mati alleluia Isos bechrestos efshiri emev noti avshe echon en Yerusalem ke nin ke ai ke Alleluia, <laughs> Loya Isos Mechresos Epshini Emev Noti Avshe Echon Eyeru Salim Blessed be he comes in the name of the Lord Blessed be he comes in the name of the Lord Alleluia Alleluia Be
yeah, and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, or the Fajf as Marot and Jeff, your name is Shirin, He who sits upon the chair of him today appeared in Jerusalem riding on a colt with great glory surrounded by rags the angels rode they spread garments while proclaiming with him Hosanna to the son of David Today the sayings are fulfilled from the prophecies and the proverbs as Zechariah prophesied and said a prophecy about Jesus Christ. Today the sayings are fulfilled from the prophecies and proverbs as Zechariah prophesied and said a prophecy about Jesus Christ. O daughter of Zion, a just king is come. He passes through you, riding on a foal. Is it? To purify your inhabitants, he is the Savior of all souls. Though he is our judge and king, he rode on a colt in humility, surrounded by his angelic host. He appeared in the likeness of men humbly. Today rejoices Jerusalem. Him, and all the land of Naphtali sings with a great voice saying, Save us, O holy King. From the trees they cut branches and on the road they spread. the promised day of which King David prayed as he explained in the Psalms. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Joyful are the souls of men. The light of dawn has emerged and has shone upon every Christian. Today the blind have been granted sight and the children have spoken while they are still nursing babes as David said in the song, out of the mouth of babes and infants 
you have perfected praise today his saying came past as the Lord Jesus was praised when the inhabitants heard of his coming at the Mount of Olives they went to meet him they saw scribes and Pharisees around him his apostles like shining stars surrounding him we were all in satan's trap through the sin of adam the first man he came and saved the believers his salvation reached every human the pagans drew near to him and each one read blind to the tangible truth. He who sits upon the cherubim today appeared in Jerusalem, riding on a colt with great glory, surrounded by ranks of the angels. In his humility he came to us, riding on a colt to restore us. Let our enemies be disgraced the defiled devil and his powers what a wonder how the lord of the throne humbled himself and rode on a coal and raised the dead man from the tomb all people saw his life restored oh dear David, why do you delay? Arise and pluck your heart. Rejoice today for salvation. Our despair is removed afar. This is the famous prophesied day he spoke of in psalms and symbols. Let us rejoice and be glad in it and praise with the angels praise, praise the lord o jerusalem glorify your god with one accord o people of levi and naphtali glorify the holy lord for he has erected your gates mended peace to your towers with awe he filled all your your children with grain and fortified you with the law arise and preach grace to Zion she received many honors through her king sorrow and worry were removed from her he brought peace to her O Jerusalem what has befallen you arise and adorn your gates O Zion invite your beloved ones praise the great and holy lord the land of judea and all surrounding it the lands of capernaum and galilee and many people gathered this day for the passover in this city whenever they heard they went rejoicing carrying palm leaves and oil saying save us giver of life they were crying and praying they went to meet him for every region from their hearts praises roll blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord save us our lord jesus
the Hebrew children spread their garments under the feet of the cold, which was prepared for the Lord of lords, Jesus Christ our Lord. Many palm trees and olive trees be proud, apart from all other trees. Rejoice, O daughter of Zion, the life giver's coming has adorned you. O people of Jesus, arise now. Take the palm leaves and branches. Praise with the suckling babes. Rejoice for the coming of the Lord Jesus. Chant unto him with pleasant song, with pure rejoicing, hearts in prayer, saying, This is the King of Israel, our Holy Lord, the Savior. The Lord of um, the cherubim today enters Jerusalem, taking the human flesh to redeem. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus planned to go to Jerusalem for Passover according to the Law, a big crowd followed when he, when him they saw Hosanna in the Our Savior and our God, lowly and humble, a donkey he rode, coming along Jerusalem road. Hosanna in the highest, passing through the Mount of Olives. The crowd shouted, our hearts we give to your kingdom as long as we live. Hosanna in the highest. Olive branches raised up high, people join in as he passed by with thundering voice of shout and cry. Hosanna in the highest. They put their garments on the street and spread their shirts under his feet. The future king they wish to meet. Hosanna in the highest. The multitude entered the town. It all seemed to be tumbling down. With a mighty seeking his crown. Hosanna in the high, King of Zion on a cold lead. Ryan prophesied indeed. Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna in the highest. Shouted with an voice. This is a king of our choice. By calling him, will you rejoice? Hosanna in the branches of palm trees in their hands and voices heard throughout the land. His victory the Pharisees could not stand. Hosanna in the highest. They said, how could all these things be? Jesus of Nazareth, we know who he is. Stopping the praise they wish to see. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus answered, if no man shouts, the stones of the earth will cry out. This is the day prophesied about. Hosanna in the highest. Jerusalem filled with happiness, a glorious king with righteousness, coming to reign over and to bless. Hosanna in the highest. He gave the man born blind his sight. He showed Zacchaeus the path of light. He raised dead Lazarus by his might. Hosanna in the highest.
with five loaves, thousand were fed. He caused the crippled man to carry his bed. The kingdom of heaven is near, he said. And the highest, he came to the Lord as the Son of Man, in his predetermined heavenly pen, to free us from the bondage of Satan. Hosanna in the highest. We worship you, Jesus, our King. All live and palm branches we bring. With unceasing voices we sing. Hosanna in the highest. in our tongues with rejoicing from our partaking of mortal mysteries of the Lord for that which an eye has not seen nor ear heard neither has come upon the heart of men the things which you O God have prepared for those who love your holy name you are revealed to the little children of your holy church you Father this is a pleasure before you for your merciful we send upon you glory and honor of Father Son and the Holy Spirit now at all times and today ages of all ages amen your servants, Lord, who are serving you and treating your holy name bowing down their heads you do on them the Lord to walk among them made them in every good deed awaken the heart from every vile earthly thought grant them to live and to think of that which pertains to the living to understand things that are yours through the only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom we and all you people cry out, saying, Have mercy upon us, O God, our Savior. Have mercy upon us, O God, our Savior. <laughs> O angel of the sacrifice, flying up high with his tent, remember us before the Lord that he may forgive us our sins. Prophecies. I like to for you. Make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who tr
Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, and thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And by Christos Isos Ben Choice. Accepted us unto yourself, spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Let us also ask the Lord God, the Pantokra, Torah, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord God, the Pantokra, Torah, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything for you have covered us, helped us, guarded us. Accepted us unto yourself, spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion upon us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints, that which is good on our behalf at all times, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our lives in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest. Take them away from us, from all your people, from this church, from this water, and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you who has given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. <laughs> Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions, blot out my iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I am conscious of my iniquity, and my sin is at all times before me. Against you only I have sinned and done evil before you, that you might be just in your sayings, and might overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins, my mother conceived me. For behold, you have loved the truth, you have manifested to me the hidden and unrevealed things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with your hyssop, and I shall be purified. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear gladness and joy, the humbled shall rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in my inward parts. Do not cast me away from your face and do not remove your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a directing spirit. Then I shall teach the transgressors your ways and the ungodly men shall turn to you. Deliver me from blood, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would have given it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God shall not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you shall be pleased with sacrifices of righteousness, offering and burnt sacrifices. Then they shall offer calves upon your altar. Alleluia. A reading from Ezekiel, the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, and it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O Lord God, you know. 
Again, he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise and suddenly a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered over them, but there was no breath in them. Also he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, Son of man, these bones are the whole... Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They indeed say, Our bones are dry, our hope is lost, and we ourselves are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up from your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up from your graves. I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, our God, forever and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Again, let us ask God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness, whoever of mankind. Remember, O oh Lord, the sake among your those who are in prisons or dungeons, those who are held in captivity or better bondage, O oh Lord, set them all free and have mercy upon them. For you are he who loosens the bound and lifts up the fallen, the hope of those who have no hope, and the help of those who have no helper, the comfort of the faint hearted, the harbor of those in the storm. All the souls that are distressed are bound, grant them mercy, O Lord, grant them rest, grant them refreshment, grant them grace, grant them help, grant them salvation, grant them the forgiveness of their sins and their iniquities. As for us, to the sicknesses of our souls heal, and also those of our bodies cure. O you, the true physician of our souls and bodies, the bishop of our flesh, visit us with your salvation. Day, alleluia. Sabatri, Kayoka, Tikanin Kai, Kestose, Onon Amin, Allelo, Ten Wash, Ten Moko, Bechrestos, Nembek, Yoten. So All the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God, a reading from the first epistle of our teacher, Paul, to the Corinthians. May his holy blessings be with us, amen. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received in which you stand, by which you also you are saved if you hold fast that word which I preached to you unless you believed in vain. For I deliver to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen by Caiaphas, then by the twelve. And after that he was seen by over 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remained to the present, but some have fallen asleep. After that he was seen by James, then by all the apostles, 
Then last of all, he was seen by me also, as by one born of due time. For I am the least of the apostles who am not worthy to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it was I or they, so we preach and so you believed. Now if Christ is preached that he has been raised from the dead, how do some among you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty, and your faith is also empty. Yes, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he did not raise up. If in fact the dead do not rise, for if the dead do not rise, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men the most pitiable. But now Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man came death, by men also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. But each one in his own order, Christ the first fruits, after those who are Christ at his coming. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. Geos esheros, angios athanatos, o stavrotins dimes ele, sonimet, angios o teosa. Geos esheros, angios athanatos, o stavrotins dimes ele, sonimet, zoxe betrikeio. Ke agei omne evmati ke nin ke ai ke stos e onaston onon amine giatrias ele insonime. Evi vasif ke stos ite ilni pasi ke tomne evmati insom. Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to us in the honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous persons have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see and your ears, for they hear. May we be made worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel. Through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our Master, all those who have been in us, to remember them in our supplications and prayers, which we lift up unto you, O Lord, our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, O Lord, repose them. Those who are secure them. For you are the life of us, all the salvation of us, all the healing of us, all the hope of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, Saint John the Evangelist. Blessed is you whom you choose and help. He shall dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house. Holy is your temple, temple wondrous in righteousness.
We beseech our Lord and God that we may be worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. In wisdom, let us attend to the Holy Gospel. A reading according to St. John. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself. But what he sees the Father do for whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself does. And he will show him, the, him greater works than these that you may marvel. For as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, he, even so the Son will give life to whom, whom he will. For the Father judges no one, but has committed all judgment to the Son, that all should honor the Son just as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sends him. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him, who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment but has passed from death into life. Most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. Uh, Glory be to God for as we fight in tea on a finoche, all in go and Majek as Marot, or by choice, so Javash Cox, so TM more. Everyone has Again, let us ask God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we ask and entreat your goodness. O lover of mankind, remember, O Lord, the peace of your one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic and apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord, have mercy. This which exists from one end of the world to the other, all peoples and all flocks, bless the heavenly peace, send down into all hearts. Even the peace of this life graciously grant to us, the king, the presidents, the armies, the rulers, the counselors, the multitudes, our neighbors are coming in and are going out. Adorn them with all peace. O king of peace, grant us your peace, for you have given us all things. For acquire us to yourself, O God, our Savior, for we know none other but you, your holy name we utter. May our souls live by your Holy Spirit, and let not the death of sins have dominion over us. We are servants, nor over all your peace. Over your people. Lord, have mercy. Again, let us ask God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, our Lord, our fathers and our brethren. Remember, our Lord, patriarch. our patriarch, our honored patriarch and father, the Archpriest Pope of Atuajus II, and his partner in Apostolic Liturgy, our father, the Bishop of a Peter. Pray for Archpriest Pope of Atuajus II, Pope and Patriarch, and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria and his spiritual brother in the Apostolic Liturgy, our father, the Bishop Peter, and for our Orthodox bishops. Lord of mercy. Keep them secure for us for many years in peaceful times, fulfilling that holy arch priesthood which you have entrusted them for yourself, according to your holy and blessed will, rightly handling the word of truth, shepherding your people in purity and righteousness, and all the Orthodox bishops, hegemons, priests, and deacons, and all the fullness of your one, only holy Catholic and apostolic church, grant them and us peace and safety in every place. Their prayers which they offer on our behalf and on behalf of all your people. Receive them upon your holy rational altar 
and having as a sweet savor of incense before all their enemies, visible and invisible, trample and humiliate under their feet speedily. As for them, keep them in peace and righteousness in your holy church. Lord of mercy. We ask and entreat your goodness. Again, let us ask God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, our assemblies, bless them. Pray for this holy church and for our assemblies. Lord have mercy. Grant that they may be to us without obstacle or hindrance, that we may hold them according to your holy and blessed will. Houses of prayer, houses of purity, houses of blessing. Grant them to us and to your servants who shall come after us forever. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let all that hate your holy name flee from before your face. But let your people be in blessings, thousands and ten thousands, doing your holy will. And the wisdom of God, let us attend. Amen. Truly we believe in one God, God the Father, Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, truth, begotten, not create, of oneness is with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary, and became man, and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered on us, on the third day, rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Ewe Yosef Kiesta Site Ili Pasi Et Obnem Mati Yeso Again, let us ask God the Pantokrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, our Lord, our fathers and our brothers, those whose souls who have fallen asleep, our fathers and our brethren. Pray for our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep and repose in the faith of Christ since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the archbishops, our fathers, the bishops, our fathers, the higomens, our fathers, the priests, our brethren, the deacons, our fathers, the monks, and our fathers, the laymen, for the full repose of Christians, that Christ our God may repose all those souls in the paradise of joy. And we too accord mercy unto us and forgive us our worst sins. Lord, in have mercy. Graciously, O Lord, repose all their souls in the bosom of our holy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Sustain them in a green pasture beside still waters in the paradise of joy, the place out of which grief, sorrow, and groaning have fled away in the light of your saints. Raise up their bodies also on the day which you have appointed according to your true promises which are without lie. Grant them the good things of your promises, thou which an eye has not seen, and no ear heard, neither has come upon the heart of men the things which you, O God, have prepared for those who love your holy name. For there is no death for your servants, but a departure, even if any negligence or heedlessness has overtaken them as men, since they were clothed in flesh and dwelt in this world. O God, as a good one and lover of mankind, graciously accord, O Lord, to repose and forgive them your servants, the Orthodox Christians, or in the whole world, from the east to the west. And from the north to the south, each one according to his name, and each one according to her name, for no one is pure and without blemish. Even though his life on earth be for a single day, as for those, O Lord, whose souls you have taken, may they be worthy of the kingdom of heaven. As for us, too, grant us our Christian perfection that be pleasing to you, and give them and us a share and inheritance with all your saints. Lord, have mercy. Make us worthy, pray thankfully, our Father. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespass, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, and thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. 
O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Logos of God the Father, who has broken all the bonds of our sins through his saving life and passion, who breathed into the face of the same disciples and holy apostles and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now also, our Master, you've given grace to the holy apostles, to those who labor for a time in the priesthood of your church, to forgive every sin upon the earth, to bind to loose every bond of iniquity. We ask and treat your goodness to love our mankind for your servants, my brothers and my sisters, and my weak self, those who bow their heads before your glory, dispense to us your mercy, loose every bond of our sin. If we have committed any sin against you knowingly or knowingly, things of heart, whether in word or deed or through faintheartedness, you, O Master, knows the weakness of men as a good and lover of mankind. Grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, purify us, absolve us, and all your people. Fill us with your fear, teach us to do your will. For your King of now and all times and today, just of all ages, amen. <laughs> Son, Kerry, Son, Kerry, Son, Kerry, Kerry, Son, Kerry, Son, Son of Or on Teti, here in Moinan, and Tech, here in Samninan, Tech, here in Icon and Novi, Nanevol, Kiri Son, Kiri Alay Son, Kiri Alay Son, Kiri Alay Son, Kiri. Son, 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 Emmanuel, our God is now and our met with the glory of his Father and the Holy Spirit. Son, Kiri Alay, Son, Kiri Alay, Son. May He bless us all and purify our hearts and heal the sicknesses of our souls and, and bodies. Kiri Alay, Son, Kiri Alay, Son. 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 Hashem Maka Bechir Estos Nembekyo Agasos Nembeb Nev Masawa Je Amashka Soti Em Mona Mina Lelo Yazok Sabatri Keyo Ke Agiob Nev Mati Ken In Kai Kestos eon aston eonon Amin teno she volen go Moshe o ben shoi si sos be Restos vi et av ashe bestav rosek echom chem ep satanas Sabe si tenen et shalab Soti em mono oh naina Kiri elei son, kiri elei son Kyrie eflogi son amin smoero Smoero esti metania koni evol koem di esmo
podcast. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. The love of God the Father, the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the communion and gift of the Holy Spirit be with you. Please, please, please stay in your spots for one minute. We're going to go bench by bench. If the scouts, if they're still here, if they can assist us the way they did with communion. Uh, so we can walk out orderly because we are a very large number and we want everybody to go home safely so we can have a safe Holy Week. So please come up to the front and when the scouts prompt you to come up, you'll take, receive the blessed bread and then go straight out the door this way up front here and please exit the building and then go outdoors. Okay? Please don't dilly-dally in the church. Please don't speak too loud in the church. Remember, this is the house of God and we owe it its respect. And come when your turn is called so you can receive the bread. And happy Palm Sunday and happy Holy Week. Come sound to Taiyibin.